Good day YouTube. Today I'm doing just a bit of a quick fun comparison video between Linux Mint 21 Cinnamon Beta Edition on the left versus Ubuntu 22.04 long term service releasing on the right. So these are both uh, really, really uh, big operating systems in their own right in the, in the Linux world community there. So really uncontested behemoths or juggernauts within the industry of sorts. Now they are both Hmm, based off the same thing. So, well, Linux Mint 21 is actually based off Ubuntu 22.04 long-term service release as well. Probably a better way of saying that. Now, uh, let's start off with having a look at the uh, the desktops themselves. So, they are a little bit different. Uh, so, we are running on the clean and crisp Cinnamon desktop environment on the left-hand side here. So, uh, very much loved, I've got to say there. You've got your start menu, taskbar. Uh, features, options, settings, update managers, th sections there. Whereas on the right hand side here we've got Ubuntu uh, uh, as the GNOME desktop environment which is actually its default desktop environment there as well. So a little bit different there, we've got our taskbar on the side uh, if we want to look for a, an app uh, we type it in or we uh, go a little bit further but um, not a big fan of these tiny little icons sometimes. When I type it in it actually shows me a bit more information in fact, something I do like here is when I go to, if I want to type in a keyboard shortcut, I'll just type in short and it ta takes me to the keyboard section, change keyboard shortcuts, blah, 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 which is very important. I'm sure I've done a million videos on that. But, um, and uh, if we go to the, the context menu, a few options there as well, but I just like right clicking and clicking open terminal there. Now, let's see next up uh, we have the sorry I was just listening to something in the background no one's home so I don't know what that sound is uh, basically the file manager so uh, we have the Nemo file manager on the left hand side here uh, with those nice green color accents and tones uh, synonymous with any mint or the word mint even uh, and then we can right click open terminal and same sort of deal for Ubuntu now uh, we can right click and go to open terminal there as well. Nice dark mode there though. Uh, next up we'll have a look at the kernel on boot up. So we'll go to the back end. We see we've got the 5.15 kernel for each of these guys. So much of a much just there. And last but not least we have the, uh, take it with a grain of salt, but um, the RAM usage on boot up. So 688 megabytes of RAM on boot up for Linux Mint and 882 megabytes of RAM on boot up for Ubuntu. Now one thing I've got to say is Ubuntu is heavily optimized with the GNOME desktop environment. Usually any GNOME desktop environment uses way more than this. So take that into account for sure. But I'm going to inspect that noise. It's making it hard for me to uh, talk, as you might have noticed recording this video. So thanks for watching. Please leave a comment, subscribe, hit that like button, and I do hope to see all of you guys there in the next one. Cheers.